If you're here, it's probably because you're aiming for an A star in A-level mathematics and want to know exactly how to get there. Whether you're just starting out or already deep into revision, don't worry, I've got you covered. Hey there, I'm Aryan and in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to get an A star in this subject. From planning out your study schedule to revising to acing exam day strategy. So grab your notebooks because this is a complete guide you don't want to miss. First things first, understanding your syllabus is absolutely crucial. The syllabus is like your ultimate checklist. It tells you everything that's going to come on the exam and sticking to it will help you save time while preparing. Download the syllabus document for your specific exam board, whether that be Cambridge, Edexcel, AQA, OCR, and so on. Highlight the parts that you think are important, especially concepts that you're having trouble with. For example, topics like implicit differentiation, parametric equations, or normal approximation from statistics might require extra attention. Make sure you don't skip the section that explains the meaning of command words like hence or justify. It may seem like an unnecessarily small detail, but believe me when I say that it makes a difference in your answers. Once you're familiar with the subject, start building a strong foundation. A-level mathematics is like a tower. If you don't have a solid base, you can't move on to the top. Make sure to also revise your GCSE or IGCSE topics. Pay specific attention to concepts like algebra, trigonometry, or basic differentiation and integration. These topics are the backbone of A-level maths, so make sure that you get comfortable with them early on. In mechanics, start with understanding forces and motion. Make sure to learn how to break a force down into its components or how to use Newton's laws effectively. For statistics, make sure that you're clear on probability basics and learn how to use your calculator to perform simple functions like regressions or cumulative probabilities. Speaking of calculators, mastering your calculators can be an absolute game changer in the exam. Tools like the Casio FX991EX or the Casio ClassVis can be incredibly powerful when you're doing A-level maths papers. Make sure to get the hang of basic functions like finding the solution to a quadratic equation or a system of simultaneous equations, working with matrices or imaginary numbers, and of course, how to carry out basic differentiation and integrations completely on your calculator. For statistics, explore how to automatically calculate the probability for binomial and normal distribution functions. Practicing with your calculator can save you minutes while you're writing the exam, and those minutes add up to an overall stronger performance. Let's talk about resources. While your school provided textbook is a great resource, and I would 100% recommend going through it, that's not enough to get an A star. There are other things that you need to look into. Websites like Save My Exams or Dr. Frost Math Tutor provide excellent topical questions, detailed explanations, and video breakdowns. Exam Solutions is another fantastic site for breaking down complex concepts into easy to understand steps. For mechanics, Isaac Physics offers challenging questions that will truly test your understanding of the concepts that you're learning. And of course, Znotes is a great resource if you're pressed on time and just want to quickly revise everything that's going to show up on the exam. At the start of the year, make a list of all the resources that you want to use for each topic and stick to them. Make sure that you don't get overwhelmed by having too many resources to pick from. Practice is where most of the magic happens. Start with single topic topical questions, and then as your confidence builds, move on to multi-topical and past paper questions. When practicing past papers, make sure to time yourself like you're giving the actual exam. After you're done solving, use the official mark scheme to grade your work. Look at every single place where you made a mistake, no matter how small, and note it down in what I like to call a mistake journal. This mistake journal becomes your personalized study guide which tells you exactly where you need to focus on the day before your exam. Some students tend to struggle with managing difficult concepts, so let's go over a few of these. Integration techniques like substitution or biparts can seem incredibly convoluted at first, but by breaking them down into simple and logical steps, you can simplify the process considerably. For mechanics, visualization is key. 
make sure to draw diagrams for every question even if you're not asked to. Write down your equations in full and label everything that you draw. It'll help you keep track of everything that you've already done. It'll make questions way easier. In statistics, understanding the binomial and normal distributions is absolutely vital, especially when approximations are involved as they always are on every paper. Make sure to practice these as much as possible until they basically become second nature. And as I mentioned earlier, get good at doing them directly with your calculator. Even though you do have to show steps in the exam to get marks, this is a great way of checking your answers. When creating your study schedule, make sure that you balance all the different areas of maths. Keep in mind which papers you're going to be giving at the end of the year, since you won't be giving the exam for pure stats and mechanics all three in the same year. For example, if you're in AS and you're going to be giving the pure one and mechanics papers, you could spend three days a week studying pure, two days a week doing mechanics, and then leave the weekends up for past paper revision. This sort of rotation will make sure that you stay engaged with all the different concepts that you're learning and don't forget any of them during the week. Another tip is to use active learning techniques. Don't just read through your notes. Challenge yourself. Try to solve a problem without looking at the solution. Ask your friend to give you questions to solve or try and create your own problems based on different topics. These methods basically force you to directly engage with the study material, ensuring that it sticks in your head after you're done revising. Closer to the exams, focus on exam day technique. Always read questions carefully and underline words like hence or show that which might indicate something about the way in which you're supposed to answer the question. For multi-part questions, the answers from your earlier parts are usually helpful while solving the later ones, so don't just leave anything blank and try and move on to the next part. Manage your time well. As a general rule, you can spend about one minute per mark, but make sure to move on from questions that you're spending unnecessarily high amounts of time on. You can always get back to them later when you're done with the rest of the paper. Finally, don't forget about your mental and physical health. A-levels can be really intense, and maths especially requires you to be sharp, so make sure that you're well-rested, taking enough breaks, sleeping well, and eating well. If you hit a mental block, feel free to step away for a moment. It's amazing just how much a clear mind can help you solve problems. To sum it all up, getting an A-star in A-level mathematics isn't about being a genius. It's about consistent efforts, using your time well, and efficient problem-solving. Remember, every small effort adds up and with the right mindset, you can undoubtedly reach your goals. If you found any of the advice that I gave you in this video helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an upload. And hey, if you have any questions or want to share your own A-level mathematics success stories, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer as many of y'all's questions as possible. Anyways. That's all for today. I'm out and thank you very much for watching.